Hello, this is my video on how to do a mount swap on a Canon FD lens. The parts included will be these. You will need a triple zero Phillips screwdriver. And optionally, you might need a thin flat object. Step one would be gluing these together. Should look something like this. You should remove three screws. One dead battery. You'll want to try to find something to lift this out. The following step, you want to just remove this piece here by just pulling out, giving it a slight twist as necessary. There's three screws located here, here, and here. Keep these screws as you'll be needing them to attach the lens mount itself. Yeah, that as well. Remove this, it should come off nice and easy. After removing this, you want to remove the aperture ring as well as the inner control ring. When removing this, you want to set it to the brightest aperture and then it should come straight off. For this inner control ring, you just want to completely remove it by pulling straight up. There will also be a clicked aperture slider right here as well as a ball and spring on the inner side right here. Then you also want to completely unscrew the two screws here and here because they will interfere with the aperture ring we are about to install. Then now comes the easy part of just put it all back together. When you begin to install this outer control gear, set the camera to infinity. You want to set the aperture to as bright as possible by turning this lever until you see that this cam ha has ridden up to the top of here. If you accidentally make a mistake and you slide this control ring for the iris too far and you cannot set it back, you have to then take this cam and pull it outwards and then you can slide it like this. Then it's functional again. When putting on this control ring, you want to align it so that this small tab is in the middle here. I find it best to go at it from an angle and stick this part underneath here. And then it just falls straight on. So this side goes under here first, then this lines up, then the rest of it just falls in place. Test it out. That is the hardest part done. This is the lens mount itself. You want to locate the one beside the tab here. It should have some additional text on it, like odd one. This odd screw goes here. So you see how these two are further apart. And then this one is right at the top. It just falls straight on like that. Grab your screwdriver. Once you have one in, don't screw it all the way down. Then you want to align it. Then when you have all three screws in here, just tighten it down and it's complete. It goes all the way to infinity without any issues and it's fully compatible with EF. Anyways, this concludes my video on how to fully swap it. With all of these remaining lens parts, uh, I would recommend keeping them in case that you ever need to convert the lens back for warranty reasons or other. 